I now request the distinguished delegate of Bangladesh to make a statement. Madam President, Assalamu Alaikum and a very good morning to you all. It gives me great pleasure to congratulate you on your election as President of the 71st Session of the General Assembly. Madam President, our father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, has stated in this August Assembly in 1974, and I quote, our total commitment to peace will enable us to mobilize and concentrate all our energies and resources, and thereby combat the scourges of poverty, hunger, disease, illiteracy, and unemployment, unquote. But today, the world seems to drift away from this concept of peace. Madam President, terrorism and violent extremism are the major global challenges of our time. These menaces are sweeping across the borders and no country seems immune and no individual beyond its target. Our nation has a zero tolerance policy on terrorism and we have bent on a mission to defeat and degrade them in all their forms and manifestations. Our government has been successful in disintegrating the homegrown terrorist groups, but with the vicious rise of certain international terrorist entities, local elements have drawn inspiration and managed to regroup and rebrand themselves. Bangladesh, a unique country of religious harmony, experienced an attack in which 26 innocent people were killed in a restaurant in a capital city of Dhaka. Madam President, though this attack came as a shock to the nation, it doesn't have the power to shatter our unity and willpower. In fact, it has only strengthened our past further. We now have an enhanced safety and security system in every field. Since the attack, our law enforcers and prosecutors have stepped up the effort to apprehend and bring to justice all those who have declared war on the state and its people. In a week-long drive against terrorism militants which started from 10 June 2016, our security forces arrested 194 suspects, both male and female members of this band outfit, and we still continue the raids for apprehending all the wild hidden hands behind these tumults. Madam President, Bangladesh stands as a model to the world nation in its methods of tackling this malaise of terrorism through the joint venture of people and government. The government has formed anti-terrorist committees involving people from various social sectors. Our elite crime fighting force, Rapid Action Battalion, has introduced a mobile app, Report to Rap, aimed at facilitating the people to send information of any suspected criminal activities in their localities. After all, this is a world of technology and therefore an alliance between man and machine can better solve many problems. Madam President, Though the entire world is threatened by it, the Middle East appears to be most vulnerable to massive attacks and violence. This discussion may go futile if we do not analyze the case and its root. If I may take the liberty to speak out, is the estrangement of the people of Palestine from their native land. The United Nations has indeed taken steps to redress this issue, but we think that a greater attention has to be rendered on this matter. The recent efforts to resume the Middle East peace process and end hostilities against the brotherly Middle East people must be pursued in the right direction. We are all gathered here to serve our one humanity. Therefore, it is necessary to work through our differences and find common grounds to programmatic changes in the world around us. Thank you, Madam President.